What's up, everybody? This is Graham Guthrie at the Trading 8 for 8 channel. Welcome to today's 30-minute workout. If you're interested in what's to come, please take a moment and click on the down arrow just below this screen. It's going to give us an idea of today's goals, muscle groups we're going to focus on, equipment needed, as well as the types of movements, sets, and reps. Take time to focus on your form above all else. As you get stronger, more competent, the pace will pick up. You can either match mine or push through it. If you like the day's workout, please like our video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends and family. Without further ado, let's go get it. Today's workout's gonna be a little bit more power-based, so more explosive type movements. If you're not feeling strong in any of the movements, just break it down further. You know, if I'm asking you to do a jump squat and you can't jump, just go down to the bottom of your squat, come up quicker than you normally would. Uh, if we're doing a jumping lunge, which is gonna happen in the second round, we're gonna, if you can't jump or alternate feet in that jump, jump, jump straight up and down, um, or do an alternating lunge. All right. Let's get started here. So. We're gonna do 30 seconds of each movement. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is a jack squat, which is a partial squat. We're stepping our feet out to the side. Okay. You're gonna go one direction for 30. One, two, three. There you go, not so wide. Four. Much better. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. You're almost ten, there. Eleven. Three, two, oh, I thought I was doing three. and one. Now, 30, 30 seconds. seconds. So we're going to step to the other side. Aim for 12. That took her about 30 seconds. Really drive that weight off that heel when you're stepping back. Again, we're driving the hips back. Chest should be forward. Shoulders away from the ears. your count. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, we're going to do jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Go. Yep. Ten seconds left. <clears throat> Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. So get into your plank. Make sure your shoulders stay over your hands, pulling that knee in towards the chest. 30 seconds starts in three, two, one, and go. Ten down. Last ten. <clears throat> Good work it there. Three, two, and one. All right. So we're gonna go through that one more round. It's gonna be jack squat, uh, jumping jacks. When you're ready, we'll do. Twelve to the right. Ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. All right, 30 seconds jumping jack, or I'm sorry, other Next side. Time. Getting ahead One, of myself. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. All right, now 30 seconds, Jax. Ready? Yep. Ten down. Ten to go. Three, two, and one. And then we're going to go into our mountain climbers for 30, starting in five seconds. Three, two, and go. down. <clears throat> Adair's doing a great job of keeping her shoulders over her hands. Her butt's not coming up high. Just keeping those knees driving. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right. First round of movements. It's going to be three separate movements, but we're going to kind of break them up. So it's going to go uh, jump squat, for 10, side plank, star. And then we're gonna do another 10 of your jump squat, the opposite side in your plank. And then the last movement is gonna be a bear crawl. So we're gonna use the space that we have. She might disappear off the camera. So if you have like a long hallway, try to find the longest space. All you need is something as wide as your body. Um, so the jump squat, first thing we're gonna do is you just take a mini, uh, Bend in the knees and then jump. And wherever your feet land is kind of what your jump squat stance will be. So I'll have Adair face the camera and do that real quick. So that's probably where Adair wants to jump from. And then when her form is what we're going to do is each one, we're going to bring our hands up. We're going to come back, partial squat, half squat, and then we're just going to jump up. So she's not getting super, super deep in each squat about halfway down, and then it's hands back past the hips, explode up okay. for 10. Don't rush these, all right? 10? 10 reps. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Try to land a little six, softer. Pretend like you're landing seven, on a coffee eight, table with a glass top. Nine, 10. All right, so now we're gonna set up in our side plank. Um, for the star, what you're going to do is, this is the ground, form on the ground, chest forward, arms straight out, and then as you can, you're going to lift that top leg off of the floor. What's that? You can't do these. Side plank? Oh, all right. Just like this then? Yeah, can you raise that leg up? Mm -hmm. So Naris, just hold it at the top. Oh. There you go. We're going to go for 20 seconds here. Ten more. Adair has a modification because of a car accident she was in. Three, two, and one. Relax. There's always modifications if you need anything, any injuries you're dealing with. Let me know. Uh, 10 more jump squats. Land soft. Three. Whip those hands past the hips four, every time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whip the hands back. There you go. Ten. All right, so now we're going to do the opposite side star plank. She's doing a great job of driving the hips forward. Her shoulders are stacked on top of each other, nice and vertical. One's not in front of the other. You should be feeling a little bit of tension in the hip, the outside. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. Relax. So now we're going to go into our bear crawl. Bear crawl is the quadruped position. 
that we did yesterday. If you were tuned in and we were doing our lateral walk, this one, it's just going to be opposite arm, opposite leg crawling. So I could probably show this real quick, but it's uh, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, pick the feet up, drop the toes down, push through the ground, through the toes. So your knees come off the floor, shins parallel to the floor. I'm going to step my right arm, my left knee. What I want you to focus on is the knees. Don't have them come past the elbow that they're stepping towards. If we start coming up like this, my shin is no longer parallel to the floor. So it's here. Shorten the stance, slow it down, get some good work there. When you're ready, we're going to do this for 30 seconds. If you're coordinated enough to reverse it, just come backwards. Otherwise, turn around, stand up, turn around or crawl around, whatever it is. Let's get started in five, three, two, and one. Very good work there. Keep the knees a little bit lower and always keep the shoulders away from the ear. So you're just going to reverse it and forward. Nice correction. About 10 seconds left here. Three, two, and one. All right. Take a moment to relax. If you need water, grab water. Otherwise, we're going to do another round. So it's jump squat, side plank, jump squat, opposite side, side plank, into your bear crawl. Ideally, we get two more rounds of this. Move in the next okay. movements. So when you're ready, jump squats. Remember, whip those hands past the hips. Treat each one like they're their own. One, I'll rush through them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, side plank. If holding a side plank to your from elbow to feet is your challenge whenever you're ready. Once that leg comes up, I start the counter. And try to have the heel come up towards the ceiling, not the toes. But again, if we go from elbow to feet, great. We try to lift that foot up. If we have to do the modification like a dare, elbow to knees, that's no problem. You're almost there. If bringing that leg up is too hard, just keep the knee stacked. Three, two, and one. All right. So, ten more. Jumps. Put those hands back. Nine, there you go. Ten. All right, opposite side, side plank, star plank. to do. This is great. Good work in there. Again, shoulders stacked, hips forward. She's squeezing the glutes. Her hips not dropping. There's a nice straight line. Three, two, and one. We're going to go to our bear crawl. Thirty seconds starts in three, two, and go. Nice short steps. Keeping those shins parallel to the floor, most important part. And keeping the shoulders away from the ears. She's got about 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, Adair. All right, one more round. I think we got time for it. How you okay. feeling? Good. You want some water? Water in and one more round. Water in a round. I like it. Okay. All right, ten jump squats. One, two, three. So whip those hands back. There you go. Love it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Side plank. You 
point your toes back up at you. So this toe towards the knee. Feel that stretch in the front of the leg. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna come up for 10 more. Jumping squats. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last side plank, last star plank. There's motoring through it. Don't kick my bike, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, good work. Feel it in the glute, that mm -hmm. left side? Yeah, right here. Yep. 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. All right, bear crawl, and then we're gonna move on. Ready? I'm ready. Oh. You start, I'll count. Ten seconds down. Last ten. Come forward for a few more steps. Three, two, and one. All right, great work. So, little time to rest. So the next thing we're gonna do is alternating lunges. Each movement is going to be done for 30 seconds at a time. The first one is gonna be an alternating jumping lunge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come find a lunge position, come down, alternate the feet. If you can do that explosive movement of jumping, um, that's fantastic. You gotta really work on balance. So a lot of core tension the whole time. If you start finding yourself leaning and then we're trying to jump through that, Every time, I promise you, you'll probably step to the side. Um, if jumping like that's too much, let's just do alternating reverse lunges. Uh, again, for time, 30 seconds. The next movement is going to be a V-hold, so we're on our backs. Yoga movement, really try to push the chest forward. If that's too much, put the feet down, kind of sit tall, chest forward, shoulders away from the ears, lean back. Almost like we want to get to a, a Russian twist. If we can hang out here, balance, great. Then it's push-ups. Uh, an exercise that Adair asked for for booty. And then we're going to do uh, speed skaters. I'm not going to be able to really show this, but we kind of step to the side, jump to the side, curtsy lunge. Um, so when you're ready. Ready. All right, so I'm going to count we're gonna down. Alternating jumping lunges. Yeah. So you want to drive your weight through the front foot, explosive movement, switching feet in the air. You got that, Adair? If we got to boil it down, we can. Ready. All right, three, two, and go. Very good. And err on the side of balance rather than the total number that you get done. We're halfway, good work. Try to drive your weight through the heel of your front foot, not so much the toes. There you go. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two. Very good, Adair. And relax. So now we're gonna go to our V-hold. We're gonna come onto our back. Do you want the towel? No, it's okay. All right. So when you're ready, we're gonna come up in three, two, and one into your V. So try to think big chest. If your lower back is feeling the brunt of this, just put your feet on the ground and push that chest forward. We are halfway through. Chest out, chest out. There you go. Nice work, there. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Way to fight through it. 
Now we're going to push ups for 30 seconds. I don't need you to rifle unless you're super fit to rifle out as many as you can in 30. Just control uh, the movement and move with your breath. So breathe in on the way down, exhale as you push away. Again, I'd rather have perfect form than uh, rushing it. We're gonna start in three, two, and go. Again, if we have to go to our knees, feel free. Adair has been very impressive the past few weeks with her push-ups. Halfway. Don't let those hips drop, Adair. Tuck the tailbone, push your lower back towards the ceiling. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the next thing we're gonna do, this is that one you showed me where you're gonna be on your hands and knees and then she's, it's called a abduction, adduction. You should feel it in the glute. So you wanna step out wide and then come over your leg that's back and really control the movement. Feel a squeeze in the glute the whole time. Maybe your low back feels a nice gentle pressure. Adair, if you want to cue anything, we're going to do 30 seconds aside, starting in three, <clears throat> two, and go. Oh, she's, you doing it from a plank? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize, sorry. If you want to go from the quadruped position or quadruped position, by all means, we're about halfway. Dara's going from a plank, feeling that burn, probably shoulders, and that right glute as her right leg moves. Three, two, and one. So, um, let's do speed skaters, and then we're gonna do the other leg of that motion. Okay. Are you familiar with the speed skater, Dara? Yeah. It was just the quadruped position, or be a little bit easier. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna. Jump laterally, curtsy lunge on each side. Try to be light on your feet, driving your weight through that front foot every time. 30 seconds starts in three, two, and go. go. Three, two, and one. All right, so now we're going to go back into the plank. What other leg uh, you started split with? Split squats? No, no, you're going to do your, um, the leg stepping over. So for her, it's going to be her left leg stepping out and then crossing over her, her stationary leg. We're going to start in three, two, and one. Really control that motion. She's doing a good job of keeping her back nice and flat. Her hips aren't sagging towards the floor. 10 in. Ten to go. She asked for this, so if it's rough, Great. Yeah. <laughs> All comments directed towards the day. Three, two, and one. All right. Take a moment to relax if you need it. Otherwise, we're going into our jumping, alternating oh. lunge. What's the hardest one, Adair? Those are pretty hard. All right. The she asked for squats are jumping are hard, too. Yeah. Yeah, that one caught up, I'd say, about 20 seconds in. Adair was, like, form was perfect. Uh, and then it started to run kind of rush or maybe his knees didn't get quite as deep. We're going to start in five seconds for alternating. Five seconds. In five seconds. Okay. Three, two, and go. Then driving that weight through that heel. If you need to slow it down. I'd say reverse lunges for 30 seconds. Halfway, again, focus on balance rather than pace. 
Three, two, and one. Good work. All right, we're going to our V hold. When you're ready. And if you feel like your upper half is too low and your feet are high, try to lower the feet. Balance yourself out a little bit. That tailbone is your, uh, your pivot, fulcrum, whatever you want to call it. Big chest, shoulders away from the ears. Five down. Halfway. Good work, Adair. Push that chest out. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Push ups for 30 seconds. We're going to start in three, two, and one. So shoulders away from the ears as you come down. Tuck the chin back. Don't let the head lead. Halfway. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, relax. She wanted that extra one. I love it. So take a moment to let the shoulders relax um, for your legs. <clears throat> if you want to go from the plank, but your shoulders are feeling it, it's adding up from just doing the push-ups, come down to the forearms, but make sure those elbows stay under the shoulders. So 30 seconds, um, plank or quadruped position. Come forward a little bit more, Dara. There you go. Ready? All right, we're going to start three, two, and go. So she's taking a nice wide step out, probably about two feet to her side, maybe a little bit more. 10 down. Don't rush it. Go a little bit slower, Adair. Does that make it harder? Yep. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right, we're going to do speed skaters for 30. I'm going to ask that Adair jumps a little bit further onto her lateral side. Okay. Make that explosiveness to the side a little bit longer, a little bit deeper. We're going to start in five seconds. Three, two, and go. Nice. Very good, Adair. She's doing a great job of pushing her hips back, not letting her front knee come forward. We are 10 down. Drive off that front leg as you come to the side. That last one was perfect. Warm it up now, I love it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, so she's got her last round of the or last set rather, in this round of her plank leg abduction. We're gonna start in three, two, and one. Slow it down a little bit. We are halfway. Great work, Adair, keep breathing. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Take a moment. Grab some water. Woo. What do you say finishing up with one more lap round of alternating lunges? Sounds good. All right. We're coming up on the 30 minutes. If you want to keep going, again, it's alternating jumping lunge, your V hold, push ups the plank leg ab adduction, which just means stepping out to the side, bringing that leg into center, uh, speed skaters, and then the opposite side of your plank leg step out, we'll call it. You ready? Ready. 30 seconds, starting in three, two, and one. Just 
doing a great job of keeping her spine nice and vertical. Her hips and shoulders are moving in a unit, which means she's got a lot of core tension. Halfway. Drive the weight off that heel of the front foot. Awesome work there, less than 10. Three, two, and one. So one last V hold, one more. V hold, V hold. 30 seconds, come to the ground. When you're ready, we're gonna start in five seconds. All right, catch your breath. Three, two, and let's go. Nice, push your chest out, looks great. And breathe. 10 down. All these isometric holds in the core are really tough, but very important for protecting that spine. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Ooh. All right, we're gonna call it for the 30 minutes. If, again, if you wanna finish out this round, by all means. Um, fantastic work, Adair. Give it up for yourself. Give it up for Adair. Ooh. I'm very proud. I'm hoping tomorrow. And that's a wrap. Fantastic work this morning. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please reach out using the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can with the best answer possible. If you enjoyed today's workout, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, share with your friends and family. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one virtual training, I would love to take a few people on as clients. Please let me know. Again, comments, you can reach out. You can hit me up on Instagram at trading848.com. If you're interested in joining in these workouts live every day, get a little bit more consistency in your day, you can follow along on Instagram Live, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time each weekday. I am currently an out-of-work personal trainer, but if you're interested in donating, helping me out in these tough times, if you're able to, that'd be fantastic. You could reach me on Venmo, at Graham-Guthrie. I'll put it up right here. Again, continue working hard, remain positive, stay hydrated, be safe, and until next time, take care.